intense and peaceful workout. It sounds like an oxymoron, but that's how some describe boxing yoga. The now Detroit Simon Chowdhury knocks out this story for us. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Speed bag up top. Up, roll it. Loosen, push the hips up, downward facing dog. Yoga and boxing kind of hand in hand, which people don't know is the elements kind of go together. I can't hear you. Down. Come on, down. Welcome to Jab's Gym in Birmingham. It's a place to find your center through a punch and a pose. Owner and trainer Willie Fortune helped come up with the concept of boxing yoga called Boyo. We use boxing to pretty much get you generated with the heart rate up. We use yoga to bring it back down. There are two types of boyo classes. The standard class choreographs boxing and yoga together, while the more advanced class has intense intervals. Punches into big combinations, and then we mix them in with the calisthenics. We actually lay our yoga mats and actually go through a yoga flow. Not only is it a workout for your body, it's also supposed to be a workout for your mind. It teaches you so much more about yourself than anything else. You can be feisty and intense one minute, and calm the next. Everybody has day-to-day -day fights. And the thing is, sometimes we're gonna lash out, sometimes we're gonna control it. You wanna be able to balance the two. If you think downward dog or child's pose is more like child's play, you're not alone. Even Willie needed convincing. I was like, uh, well, at least maybe I'll get a stretch. If I don't do nothing else, I'll get a stretch. So when I went, surprisingly, it was like, it was more challenging than some of the workouts that I've done. Everybody owe it to themselves to give it a shot. In Birmingham, Simon Chowdhury for the Now Detroit.